the weather, by the way? Do you know yet for the solar eclipse? We have some ideas. Okay. And, okay. and, and the pattern's looking unsettled, which means oh. kind, kind of like what we have out there right now, which okay. means it looks warm, it looks muggy. There are probably going to be some yeah. clouds around the area. Uh, it, worst case scenario, it's cloudy and there's rain okay. around. Okay, but we're still going to see it go pitch black and sure. you'll still get that effect. Ob okay. Obviously so, but we want to be able to have a clear viewing of it yes. so we can see you know, the whole thing happen. I think kind of the best case scenario at this point is that we just kind of have some, kind of like we saw yesterday. Yeah. Maybe the day starts off with a little bit of clouds, mm -hmm. but later in the day the clouds break up and we're kind of dealing with you know, maybe some passing cloud cover overhead, but we can still see the sun. I think the odds of just having a crystal clear blue sunny sky day. Just like we were hoping for today, yeah, right? Yeah, not, <laughs> not the best for that. So I think <laughs> what we're hoping for is at least, you know, if, if there's some clouds around, they're the thin clouds or the clouds kind of scatter out as we head throughout the day. But as of now, I do believe clouds will be around the area and at worst, there will be some rain around as well. It does look like it'll be warm and breezy, 70s or so when totality is happening, which is about 140 to 144, depending on where you are in North Texas, and winds will be around 10 to 20 miles an hour. So we're about a week away. We'll continue to keep our eyes on it. Really, clouds cover is hard to predict more than just a few days out. I'm just kind of going on what the pattern is looking like leading up to that day.